Uh, and you said that you managed to recruit some players Drew in lockdown. How, how did uh, you go about doing that? Um, big social media campaigns, really. Um, just making sure that where we were doing our family workouts and in small groups, we were posting that um, online so people could see that, you know, it is locked down and, and there are restrictions, but we're still able to go out and have fun. Um, and I think that's that social side of it. Um, not necessarily being able to to kind of go out and party and or meet up in in big groups in the the clubhouse, but keeping those family groups together, keeping them strong, um, responding really quick to anyone who showed any sign of interest on any of our social media kind of stuff. Um, just yeah, just that kind of pushing to to bring people in. And I, I don't think it was that difficult because I think it was um, Ryan mentioned earlier where you know people have been sitting at home doing nothing they've uh, probably been scrolling through their social media an awful lot more than they normally would um and coming across things like rugby which there is that ability to train in small groups um which i think was probably quite appealing and people will go oh you know i'll give that a go or i used to play rugby or i'd like to go and, and have a run around and see if i'm still any good um you know and and that's that social media cannot be underestimated in, in how powerful it is in bringing people in. Do you know what you said about people yeah, saying, oh, definitely. I, when you said, sorry, sorry, um, Ashley, when you said people haven't had their boots on for a while, I think that's, mm-hmm. I've heard a lot, of, a lot of people saying that, that mm-hmm. when they could play, it was their choice not to, and they, they took the game for granted. But when there was actually no option, there is no rugby, I think I spoke to people and they're like, wow, yeah, I, I am going to play again. Because yeah. I realise how much it is well, they, how much they enjoy it, yeah. the importance but, of it, and not just the game, the social side more probably for a lot of people. Certainly, people that have had their rugby, had their uh, prime time playing, and just want to just dip in and out now, have the odd game. But yeah. I think, I think, it, yeah, if, if it does come back pretty soon, it'd be fine. Obviously, if it keeps going on and on and on, then everybody yeah, just be yeah, playing yeah. touch rugby and you make the best of it. But yeah, it's going to get a lot of players back, I think. Yeah, it's it's just been incredible, the, the number of, of people. And I, I think it is that whole thing of, you know, your options are you can go running on your own or, or with, you know, your mate who also likes to go running or you can go to the gym now. But you, it's still very kind of singular, whereas with rugby, with especially with moving up to level C now, you know, you can train into in, in larger groups. You can play matches between up to 20 people as – you know, not a lot of sports that are offering that or, you know, after after you've been stuck indoors on your own pretty much for months and months, um, the opportunity to be in a group of people, I think, becomes uh, quite appealing. Um, yeah, so I think that's one of the main reasons why we've had such a, a good crop of, of newbies coming in. I think the, the only concern I have, well, I can see that could be an issue, is that in Wales... The local park football teams, like the grassroots football equivalent of the rugby, they can start next week. Um, mm. Friendlies, full contact. So if there's anybody that used to play football or does a bit of both, they could be taken away to football for three months until rugby starts. And you might not get them back. Um, yeah. but, that's another, but that's another issue. I can't see how football can start contact when they're in the box head, doing any man marking. It's, it's, it's a contact game. I know it's not 80 minutes or 90 minutes of full contact all the time, but you're gonna if the, if you're gonna if the virus is on that field, it's no different. I think it's on a rugby field because it's two groups playing competitively who aren't in their own bubbles. They're coming together. Um, that's probably another issue. But football's back in Wales next week. Um, leagues can play different teams, so it's not in-house training. They can play other sides coming from local areas, and then um, it's how rugby. That's about this time alongside that, I suppose. We'll see where we are. Yeah, I think for for uh, the other side of the border over here, I think that's where that ready for rugby comes back to, because the because football can yeah you can you can play competitive football, you can play club football. The fact that we can now do this, and let's face it, it is touch rugby. Um, we can do that. We can we they, they they've come up with a way in which that you can play club on club or team on team eventually i was going to ask that question you yeah. can do that well well we great. can't do it yet we can't do it yet but um uh i think so, they i think they because they came up with a uh, they came up with a roadmap which was 
uh, which is six steps. And we're on step three of those six steps right now to get us all the way along to play rugby. But I also think that they've uh, they, they've clearly taken some advice and Steve Granger was saying last week about when it comes to full contact rugby, it's not just sort of what happens around the ball and a tackle situation. It's also things like if you've got a scrum, you've got two sets of eight that are in very close proximity to each other, even before the ball comes in. Now, don't get me wrong, when yeah. the ball comes in, they're all facing the same way, which is down. But before when, they're effectively, those front rows are certainly face to face. So it's not just about the kind of contact part of it. it. It's the other bit. Whereas I think they've tried to come up with this game that once we get there, we can play into club because that roadmap that they had before, I think they realised that actually the, the full contact part of the game is going to be a long way down the line. And this uh, this actually gets clubs being able to put on a game, bring another club down to them, um, play some sort of... Um, uh, competitive. Com yeah, competitiveness. And, and go